Praise the Lord. This is Drive Chat with Reverend Professor Kobnamo. This message is a continuation of the serenity prayer we discussed the last chat. Today I want to talk about seven lessons from the entire prayer. So let me read us the entire prayer one more time by Reinhold Neighbor. He says, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to tell the difference. Oh, living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardship as a pathway to peace, taking as Jesus did this sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, Trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will. That I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next. That's the entire prayer. Amen. Now the lessons we learn is that, see this is a prayer. So the first lesson we learn is pray. Learn to ask God for the things that you need. Ask. So, Reinhard prayed this prayer. He says, God, give me serenity. Give me wisdom. Give me courage. You too, ask God for serenity or peace. Ask God for courage to, to, to change the things you can and the wisdom to tell the difference. So that's the first lesson. Lesson number two, live one day at a time. Live one day. God blesses us daily. So every day we are alive, it is a blessing from God. Live it. Live it to the fullest. Live as if it is the last day of your life. The next one, lesson number three, enjoy every moment of that day that God blesses you with. Enjoy every moment. Live that moment. It may be your last moment, wherever it is. You are at a party, enjoy it. You know, you are in church, enjoy it. Oh, you are somewhere. Oh, sightseeing, enjoy it. It may be your last time there. So enjoy every moment. Lesson number th uh, three. Uh, lesson number four. Accept hardship as a pathway to peace. Know that Hardship is part of life. Life is, is, is supposed to be ups and downs. That's what makes life uh, fulfilling. You can't have a straight line where you are enjoying all the time. Or you can't have a straight line where you are suffering all the time. So every moment is part of your life. Enjoy it. Accept it. Take it as it is. Lesson number five. Take the world as it is. Not the way you want to have it. See, we God didn't make the world the way we want it. He made it so that we will be blessed by the things that happen in our life. It makes our life fulfilling. So take it as he, he, he has made it for you. Amen. Trust. Lesson number uh, six. Trust that he will make all things right for you. God will make all things right for you. So surrender to his will. If you surrender to his will, everything will be all right. If you surrender to his will, he will take you through it. Lesson number seven, be happy. Be happy every moment of your life. Whatever is going on, oh, sometimes we'll be happy, sometimes we'll be sad. But know that it is part of your life. Be happy, enjoy it. So ask God for courage. Enjoy one day at a time. Enjoy every moment. Take life as God has made it for you. Trust that he will make all things right. And lastly, be happy. Shall we pray? Father, may we also enjoy the serenity of the life you have given to us. May we live one day at a time. And may we accept all the things you have put in our life, may we be happy with it. In Jesus' name.
Amen. Hallelujah. Bless you.